Hi, and welcome to ClickTools. Thanks for taking the time to find out about ClickTools CRM integration and how to create mappings between your ClickTools surveys and your CRM environment. ClickTools enables you to link every survey question response with a specific field in your CRM and synchronize these responses with your CRM records automatically. Although the processes illustrated in this webinar are generic, we'll apply them to Salesforce CRM specifically during this webinar. Let's take a look at how it's done. We're going to map the simple customer satisfaction survey we built in a previous webinar. Let's take a brief look at this survey before we begin mapping it to Salesforce by clicking on the Builder tab and selecting our survey. You'll notice we have three text fields at the beginning of our survey form. In this example, these fields are used to capture certain unique identifiers for the records we want to either create or update in Salesforce. As you can see, we're capturing the account ID of a related contact in question one, the contact ID of that contact in question two, and the case ID that the feedback will relate to in question 3. These fields are hidden so that the respondent can't see them. The rest of the survey captures some interaction data relevant to a support case. To begin mapping the survey to our CRM environment, we click on the Deployer tab and then the Map screen. We'll be taken to this screen which allows us to begin building our mappings. In the CRM Objects panel, let's select the CRM object we would like to pass our survey responses into. We're going to create a new record and a custom object called Feedback. So we search for the Feedback object, select it, and click on Add New Object. In the Mapping panel, we can see the Feedback Mapping section we've just created. Beneath the object name, we can see a pull-down selector field for the action that we'd like to take on this Feedback object. The options here are Create a new Feedback record, Find an existing Feedback record, or Update an existing Feedback record. There is also an action whereby ClickTools will try to find an existing record, but if it can't, it'll create a new one. We're going to create a new feedback record, so we select Create New. As you can see, below the action selector, some mappings have been created automatically, and in this case, correspond to required fields on our feedback object. These are mandatory fields we need to populate on this particular object for Salesforce to successfully create a record on it. These fields are account and contact fields, shown here in the CRM fields column, which are both reference field types on the feedback object. Mapping our survey responses to our CRM fields involves matching responses in the questions and responses column with fields in the CRM fields column. Let's go ahead and start matching our fields with responses. In the first mapping, we want to pass the contact's account ID held in question 1 on our survey to the account reference field on our feedback object. As you can see, this mapping is already created. In the second mapping, we want to pass the contact ID held in question 2 on our survey to the contact reference field on our feedback object, so we select question 2 in the questions and responses column. Similarly, let's create a mapping from the case ID held in question 3 on the survey to the case reference field on the feedback object. To do this, we click on the Add New Field button, search for the case reference field in the pull-down, select it and map it to question 3 on our survey in the Questions and Responses column. We also, of course, want to pass the customer satisfaction related responses into our feedback object. So again, we click on the Add New Field button and begin building mappings from our customer satisfaction questions to predefined fields on our feedback object. The fail on error option is very important. It allows you to control whether responses are passed into CRM if there are any errors with any individual mappings. If fail on error is checked, you can be sure that no data will be passed to CRM unless all the mappings are perfect, and we recommend this option is enabled for most use cases. Once you've finished building your mappings, don't forget to click on Save to apply them to your survey. You're now all set to start synchronizing your responses into Salesforce. Thanks for watching.